Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how to cycle your NIMH battery. One of the reasons you want to cycle your NIMH battery is, <coughs> sorry, let's say you were getting roughly about 15 minutes of playing time and you notice after a while your time decreasing. You were getting 15 and now you're getting let's say 8 minutes. That's a little bit normal with NIMH. They don't have a memory, but after a while, you're not going to get the full capacity of the pack. Doing a cycle charge on it, basically what it does, it will charge up the battery, discharge, charge up the battery, and discharge it. You're cycling the, the battery. Getting to the rid of the maximum power and putting it back the maximum it can take. What we're going to do here is we're going to use this X2 AC Plus here to be able to cycle our battery right here. Now our battery is plugged in. You're going to go underneath the NIMH setting. And you're going to go to the setting to cycle. And press enter. Now you have the choice discharge and recharge or charge or discharge. Basically what you want is charge discharge and to charge and we're going to do it two times basically when they hit enter again number two is going to flash you could go up to and this guy up to five times but we just want to do it two times now once you select that basically what you're going to do you're going to hit enter now depending on the charge you have might be a little bit different with this guy um, but as long as you're doing your charge discharge cycle correctly you'll be fine and we're going to hit enter. Charger will start. Basically here it went from discharge to charge. Now the charger size charging up. Basically it saw the battery is low enough to be fine. And it's going to charge it. Now once it's fully charged, you'll see the amount of amperage it's taking. Amount of time and what kind of milliamp it goes in or takes out this is an 1800 basically you should see 1800 when you're discharging you should see at least close to 1800 now you might see more depending on your battery I saw batteries being at 3000 and going close to 4000 inside of it every battery they're a little bit different their individual cells will be different. They might take more, they might take less. But this is the number will tell you what's happening with your battery. Let's say, for fun of it, this meter goes to 1900. Basically, it's telling me my battery went to 1900 milliamp instead of 18. That's good. You're basically getting a little bit more running time with your battery. Now, after a while, let's say your battery is a couple of years old, this number will vary. There's no guarantee it will go back to 1800. That just means the batteries are getting old. And depending how you charge this battery too, if you're fast charging it, uh, more than 1.8 amps, you're sh let's say you're charging at 4 amps, you're basically removing life of your battery. Let's say your battery will, should be good for two years and you're fast charging every day uh, hit your battery might be good just for six months to a year it's just how you take care of your battery um, even if you try cycling cycle multiple times it's it is what it is it's the age of your battery one of the things to make sure when you're charging these batteries here, always make sure when you're putting them back in the vehicle, they're not hot. Let it cool down before you recharge them or before you do any cycle charge on it. Same thing, and when you're finished using it, if it's hot, before recharging it, let it cool down. Now, once the charger will be finished uh, charging it, it will go again discharging it. To the point that it knows when to stop then it is going to go to the cycle again to recharging it and it will let you know once it's fully charged 
Now, if you guys have any questions uh, about this, post them down below in the comment box. Or if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you, guys.